Tesla Big Battery in South Australia earns huge profit paying for itself only in two and a half years. The Tesla Big Battery in South Australia, officially known as the Hornsdale Power Reserve, delivered a windfall profit to its Paris-based owner Neo N in the first half of 2020, largely due to the key role it and other big batteries played when a massive storm blew down the state's main link to Victoria. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from from torquenews.com with a very interesting news. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Gilles Parkinson writes in Renew Economy that Australia Tesla's big battery in South Australia delivers stunning windfall profits. Here is what Gilles says. He says the Hordsdale battery along with another Tesla battery at Lake Bonnie and the Darlimple North battery were asked to pay uh, were asked to pay a key role stabilizing the South Australia grid during the 17 days that the state was isolated from the rest of the main grid and it reaped a huge bonus in revenue and profits in return that key role delivered a one-off profit boost of 16.4 million euros which is 27 million Australian dollars. So that's basically roughly 16 million US dollars in the first half of allowing, uh, allowing Neo N to more than treble its total earnings before interest and tax from battery storage um, to 23.2 million euros from 6.9 million euros and continue to a 58% boost to overall earnings in the first half of 148.2 million, 148 million euros. Now, this is interesting because this is basically done due to Tesla's battery. Gilles also writes that the windfall returns from the latest half, um, the latest half means that the Hornsdale Tesla battery has delivered total earnings in the first two and a half years of operating of uh, operation of 54.4 million euros which translates into 88 million australian um, dollars for a battery that cost a little over 90 million australian uh, dollars it's important to remember gill says also that hornsdale battery has delivered savings to consumers already estimated a more than uh, 150 million australian dollars and that hornsdale power reserve was the biggest lithium-ion battery in the world when it was commissioned in 2017 with a capacity of 100 megawatt, which is 129 megawatt hour. It has now lost that world title despite recently finishing an expansion which lifts the capacity of capacity to 150 megawatt to 150 190 mega 94 megawatt hour and add additional services such as inertia now this is really good news for tesla because now a lot of uh, other companies and other businesses may look to tesla uh, uh, for the power pack and me uh, mega pack and so on all the to tesla batteries especially this is important after the battery day that has been uh, that uh, featured tesla's new upcoming battery now the expansion gills notes that was completed this month a few weeks later the company noted in its earnings call uh, with analysts and it expected to start delivering those new inertia services in coming months under trials with the australian energy market operator it will be um, it will be the first battery of this scale to deliver such services neo n does not expect a repeat of that windfall unless of course another big storm blows down the main interconnector linking the two states but has not another two big batteries soon to be completed um, another big battery gives nodes 50 megawatt with likely two hours of storage will be built in canberra as part of a long-term contract with the act government that will also see 
the first 100 megawatt stage of massive Koider South project in South Australia that may one day host 900 megawatt of wind, 600 megawatt of solar and 900 megawatt of battery storage, which is 10 times bigger than the original Hornsdale battery. I am wondering if this will also be a um, Tesla battery and that it will uh, uh, generate possibly very good results for Tesla in the future. Uh, Eva Fox from the Tasmania notes that uh, Tesla's large battery in South Australia generated windfall profits for Neon, the Hornsdale battery, along with both the Tesla battery at Lake Bonnie and at Darlimple North were asked to play a key role in stabilizing the South Australia grid. Um, and it's also important to remember that this Hornsdale battery has provided consumers with savings that are already valued more than 90 million euros and has played a key role in keeping the lights on at a number of major networking events. However, Neon, like I said, does not anticipate a repeat this contingency unless there is another storm or there is another um, uh, area that, that, it's, um, that it's needed. But what is interesting here is that Tesla's uh, uh, clean energy business is going to grow. Now, now imagine how many um, companies will look at uh, Tesla's energy business, Tesla's battery business, and if they see that Tesla is able to... Uh, through its batteries bring this delivered uh, these types of results maybe other companies will also look at tesla's uh, batteries tesla's battery storage and uh, we report uh, and that uh, tesla's battery business the storage battery st storage business will grow um, i think several weeks ago i also reported that uh, Volkswagen's um, uh, charging system is using Tesla batteries, power packs, and that they are, uh, but they have, uh, they had painted it because the supplier didn't want people, you know, it to be the public information that it was uh, provided by Tesla. But now we see that um, this is going to be a um, new, possibly new line of business for Tesla and growing and can bring profits to companies that use it and because of this storm it uh, paid for itself in two and a half years well friends let me know what you think about tesla's uh, growing battery business and the companies using tesla batteries and bringing another line of uh, business for tesla in the meantime this is armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you would like daily tesla news please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story and please also know that we are still looking for more tesla reporters right now we have three tesla reporters at torque news Dot com but we would like to get few more if you are interested to write tesla stories for torquenews.com and be paid for them if you have interest in tesla and or gen electric cars in general please contact me using the about page of our torque news youtube channel where you can get our email and uh, we'll see you in our next report have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you take good care of each other and your families and uh, peace be with all of you see you soon friends